Hey guys, Luke here with catsandcarp.com and I'm gonna show you the indestructible lure. Uh... And welcome to another episode of Catfish and Carp. And today we're gonna to be demonstrating some pretty awesome new technology with fishing lures. Uh, I was up on the Susquehanna River with smallmouth bass fishing guide Joe Raymond and he was showing me some pretty cool new lures that are on the market. Uh, these are the Z-Man soft plastic baits. Now what makes this cool is the material they're making these soft plastics out of is, is proprietary. It's brand new. Um, it's from the medical industry, I believe. And it is incredibly durable. And that's the big problem with soft plastic baits. Traditional soft plastic baits just get torn up all the time. So, like, here we go. I've got this one right here. This is a, a traditional non-Z-Man soft plastic bait. And you can see it just, it just pulls apart really easy. And you catch one or two fish with it and it's done and it's garbage. And a lot of these end up in the water getting eaten by fish and they're made of plastic and they're not particularly good for the fish. These soft plastic baits, they say that they contain no plastics, they're non-toxic, they're extremely durable, and they're buoyant. So we're gonna test them out and just kind of do a little demonstration here. And I know nobody that is as good at destroying things as these two guys. So you guys ready to test out how strong you guys are? Yeah. All right, let's get ready to rumble. Okay, so our first test is gonna be the Zinker Z June bug uh, colored five inch Senko worm here. Pretty standard looking Senko worm, but it is very, very stretchy. I mean, look at that. Hey, Tommy, you think you can break that? Grab it, stretch it. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Oh, that stretch it. Woo! That came as a touch. Me, me, me. Here, go ahead, stretch it. Oh, I, I got some glitter. Woo! Snapped out your hand. Yo, that was crazy. I broke it. You got it? Yeah. Hey, grab it, grab it again. Okay, let's see how stretchy that is. Look at that. That is crazy. Look at, oh, you can break it, but you really gotta try. This is the Sexy Penny Diesel Minnow Z, the four inch swim bait. Here, try pulling that. Try pulling that. Oh, watch out, it's gonna snap, it's gonna snap. Okay, I can't hold on. Look at that, it's still in great shape. So nice. Here, stretch it, stretch it. Can you stretch it? Yeah. Oh, where'd it go? Oh. Look at that. My dad is, I'm slipping. Woohoo! Look at that. That is it's still in good shape. I mean, there isn't a single tear on that. I'm slipping. Watch your eyes. Uh, ow. Oh, did you you get it? Oh, you finally, you finally tore the, tore the tail off it. Okay, this is the Hard Legs Frog Z Watermelon Red 4 inch. All right. Can I have one? Look at that. Look at that. That is a good looking frog. Oh, man, look at, look at how, look how strong that is. I'm going yeah. to pull that. What do you do? Look at that. Are you using this. your teeth? Oh, look at that, Nathan. It's tough. It is tough. See, it's falling out my hand. Look at that, Nathan. Is it too tough? Can you break it, Nathan? No. I kind of want to keep this. Look at that. These suckers are indestructible. I mean, you can break them. But you gotta want it. Oh. <laughs> One thing that's a little weird about these is there's a little warning label that says that you shouldn't store Z-Man lures with other soft plastics or in certain plastic storage bins because the chemicals can react. But it recommends that you just keep them in their sleeves or you use special Z-Man storage bins. I'm not sure what they mean by react. My guess is it probably just melts or becomes brittle or something, but 
Who knows, maybe it blows up your tackle box. I don't know. On the back of the package for the Z-Man lures, it says that these are naturally buoyant and that they'll float if you rig them without any weight. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that out and see if that's true. They've got three different types of Z-Man lures here and it's some water and we're gonna check out if they're buoyant. Oh, look at that. So the frog, the swim bait float like a cork, but the Senko Zinker sinks. So here's the issue, right? I presume from the fact that the name is Zinker and it says sink in the model number, that this is designed to sink. However, all of the Z-Man packaging says right there on the front, naturally buoyant. So it's really misleading. It makes you think that it's gonna float if you look at this part. But if you kind of see Zinker and Sink, you might kind of deduce it Sink. So a little bit of a marketing packaging issue there. So I have all five Zinkers from the same packaging. Check this out. One of them floats. Yep, that's right. This is the one Tommy's been playing with. So something about the fact that he's been playing with this, now it's buoyant. Let me take one of the ones that was sinking and go and stretch it. And look at that, it kind of floats now. So apparently if you stretch them a little bit too much out of the water when they're dry, they, they kind of lose some of their sinking ability, it changes their buoyancy, which is kind of interesting. Well, if you guys wanna find out more information on the Z-Man lures, go ahead and check the description. I'll put links to where you can buy these. Additionally, if you guys would like to see more great videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys.